This is Adi Sharma. Solutions Class 11th uh, Chapter 29 Limits Exercise is 29.3. Now the next question here is, when x uh, tends to 3 limit x square minus 9 by 1 by x plus 3 plus 1 by x minus 3. Please remember whenever we have this x tends to 3, that means x minus 3 will be a factor, will always be a factor. If you put x as 3, you will see that this is going to be, this uh, expression is going to be 0 by 0. That means, whenever we have this limit, x tends to 3, it is going, use, going to give you 0, 0, x minus 3 will be factor. So, let us come to the question, x square minus 3 can be written as x minus 3, x plus 3. And in the denominator, we have 1, 1 by x minus 3, 1 by x plus 3. So just take the LCM x minus 3 here, x plus 3 here, and then x plus 3 into x minus 3. So, x plus 3, x minus 3, if you see the denominator and the numerator, you have this, you can cancel it, just cancel it. And this will be, this is 2x, 3, 3 gets cancelled, it will be 2x, and just apply the limit x tends to 3. So, it will be 6, it will be 6. Now, next one is uh, question number 25. We have seen this. In the earlier question, I guess 7, 8 or 8, 9, this kind of question we have done. So, whenever we have a situation like this and uh, and this is a, you know, quadratic equation we can make factor, but when it is third power or fourth power, it becomes difficult. So, how to find out the factors? We have this x4 minus 3x cube plus 2 divided by x cube minus 5x square plus 3x plus 1. So, if you put x as 1, if you put x as 1 and please remember x minus will be a factor if the numerator or the denominator or both are going to be 0 when you put x equals 1, whichever is 1, x minus will be a factor. So, you have 1 minus 5 plus 3 plus 1 if I put x as 1 and you see that it is going to be 0, denominator. Numerator also will be 0 if you put x equals 1. So, when you have x tends to 1, that is x minus will be definitely a factor because you are putting x as 1 and this numerator denominator is giving you 0. I hope you got the idea. Okay. So, we have limit x, x minus 1. x minus 1 is a factor. So, that is something multiplied by x minus 1 is going to give you the above 1. New numerator. So, k if you want to find out, what do you do? You divide x4 minus 3x cube plus 2 divided by x minus 1 so that you get the another factor. So, this is the logic here. We divide the numerator denominator by x minus 1 so that you get the another factor. So, I hope you got the idea. So, we will divide both the numerator and denominator by x minus 1. So, you will get certain values, a certain expression. So, if you see here, I, I hope that uh, this division you will be able to do. I won't be discussing here. So, in the place of x4 minus 3x3 3 3 plus 2, in place of this, you are going to put x minus 1 into x cube minus 2x square minus 2x minus 2 in the numerator. And in place of denominator, what are you going to put? x minus 1 and x square minus 4x minus 1 in place of the denominator. You multiply these two, you get the original one. Now, main thing was, as I discussed, x minus 1 is a factor, x minus 1 is a factor. So, just cancel it, just cancel it. So, you have now whatever is remaining, you just put x as 1 and you are going to get 5 by 4. Just eliminate x minus 1 which is creating problem. So, this question number 26 is also like this. So, x tends to 2x, so x minus 2 is going to be a factor definitely. Divide numerator denominator both by x minus 2 so that you get the another factor. Okay, another factor. So, when you put x as 2 here, you will all get 0, 0 as the numerator denominator. First thing, in the numerator you have to put these two, x minus 2 and x square plus 5x plus 1. In place of the denominator, you have to put x minus 2 into x square plus 2x plus 3. And if you see here, when we put these values, x minus 2 is common. So, x minus 2, just remove it. So, we have numerator denominator, now put x as 2 and you will get 15 by 11 as the answer. Next one is question number 27. 
So here what you are going to do? See, one minus one to the power. If if you put x as one, so one minus one to the power minus one by three, one minus one to the power minus two by three, and x is one. So one to the power anything will be one only. Whatever power is, it is negative. Whatever power under root or you will get one. So how to solve this? What is the solution? Uh, if you see the denominator, one minus x raise minus two by three. So one square minus x. Now I am taking minus one by three inside and squaring it. it will be multiplied minus one by three into two. So a square minus b square you can write it. A minus b. So you have one minus x by three, x one by three, and one plus x raise minus one by three. So a square minus b square formula we used. Numerator what we have? We already have one minus. I am writing it here only. One minus x raised to the power minus one by three. This gets cancelled, and what do you get? One by one plus x raised one minus one by three, and just put x as one. You know anything raised one will always be one. So you have one by one plus one that is one by three. This is the final result. Question number twenty-eight. X raised four minus sixteen by x minus two. So if you put x as two, it will be zero. So you know that x x raised to two that is the problem. So x minus two will definitely be a factor. I am writing this as a square minus b square, so a minus b a plus b, x square minus four and x square plus four, and x square minus four two square. I am going to write this again. Factor x minus two x plus two, and then you have x square plus four divided by x minus two. So x minus two gets cancelled. You get x plus two and x square plus two. In place of x, you just put x as two. So there will be a valid value which is thirty two. That is four eight thirty two. This question is repeated, right? There are certain questions which are coming which are already repeated because NCERT question also we are going to see. Question number twenty nine. So x square minus nine x plus twenty by x square minus six x plus five. So the factor will be of course it will be x because x tends to five. So x minus five will be the x minus five will be the factor. So x minus five is the factor. Okay. Now make the. I hope you'll be able to do the factor. Just remember, whenever you take the factor, x minus five has to come. Otherwise, you can find. You can just see, revisit your solution. So x minus five, x minus five gets cancelled. Put x as five, or the four will come. Question number thirty-eight is. So we have. This is also a question being repeated. X cube plus one. So one cube it is. X plus one. So x cube plus one cube. Now x plus one. It, I am using a cube plus b cube formula. So x plus one and a square plus b square minus ab. So x square minus x plus one. In the denominator you have x plus one. Now just cancel it. X square minus x plus one. So you have minus one whole square minus one plus one. So one 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 minus one square will be one one minus one minus is plus. So we are going to get three. Three is the answer. Question number thirty one. Now limit x tends to two. One by x minus two minus two into two x minus three by x cube minus three x square plus two. So I'll just uh, I'm just taking the new denominator here. This demon denominator is. Let me show you how to make the factor of this. X cube minus three x square plus two x. Now you can take x common. So you have x square minus three x plus two x. Please watch it carefully because this is going to be repeated just now in the next question. X square minus two x minus uh, x plus two. So I'm making factor. So x x x minus two minus one x minus two. So we have x minus one into x minus two, and x is there. So these are the factors. Now I am putting it here. Two two x minus three, and divided by you have x x minus one and x minus two. X x minus one and x minus two. So the right one I am saying. Now the left one one by x minus two is already there. Now I am taking this one by x minus two as common. What is inside one minus two two x minus three and divided by x x minus one four x minus six let us write it and you have x square minus one square minus one so you have x square minus one minus four x plus six divided by x square minus one and this is x minus two. Now this is going to give you a factor definitely as x minus two, definitely. So x minus five x plus six, x square x square minus five x plus six, 
and we have to make the factor of x square minus 5x plus 6. So x square minus 2x minus 2x minus 3x. You can write it like this plus 6. x take common x minus 2 minus 3 you take common x minus 2. So x minus 2 into x minus 3. These are the factors. Now in, in place of this I am just uh, replacing this one. And I am cancelling x minus 2 x minus 2. x minus 3 by x square minus 1 will remain. x minus 3 by this x square minus so just put x x uh, as 2, so 2 square minus, okay there is x also, there is x into x square, x into x minus 1 is not x square minus 1, it is x square minus x. So there is a, there is a uh, correction here, x square minus x. So 2 square minus 2, so 4, so this is 2, so minus 1 by 2 will be the answer. Question number 32. So we have limit x tends to 1, and under root x square minus 1 plus under root x minus 1 by under root x square minus 1. So we'll do it in a different way. Okay, how? So we have under root x square minus 1, and uh, just take them separately, means take the denominator with both the numerators. We have under root x plus x minus 1 by under root x square minus 1. So this gets cancelled. 1 and the root x minus 1, x square minus 1 can be written as x minus 1, x plus 1. So just take it here, and the root x minus 1, and there you have under root x minus 1 and under root x plus 1. Cancel this under root x minus 1 and under root x minus 1, you have 1 plus 1 by under root x plus 1. Now just put x as 1. Just put 1. So you have, and x is greater than 1 is also given in the question. So you have 1 by under root uh, 2, so it will be root 2 plus 1 by root 2. This is the solution here. Now question number 33, this question also we have done an NCRT question it is and the factor also we have made uh, as I suggested in the previous question. So let me uh, make it x minus 2, I am taking x common from the denominator here, x minus 1 and minus we have 1 by x, I am taking x common from here and this is x square minus 3x plus 2, minus 3x plus 2. Now we already did this, as I told you, it's x minus 1 and x minus 2, this is the factor, x minus 1, x minus 2. So we can directly replace this, x minus 1 and x minus 2, okay, so we have x minus 2, x, x minus 1, minus 1 by x, and x minus 1, x minus 2. Now you can take 1 by x, x minus, this step we have reached, so I am taking 1 by x, x minus 1 common. One by x, x minus common, common. So one by x, x minus one. You have inside x minus two minus one by x minus two. One by x minus two. So now, no, this is this is going to be cancelled. X minus one has to be cancelled because x minus x tends to one or x minus one is a factor. So we have to cancel it. So a square minus b square. Uh, minus a square plus b square minus 2 again and then minus 1. So you have x square and uh, minus minus 4x and plus 3. It's not negative 3, it's plus 3. I'm just going to uh, you know rewrite it. It's x square minus 4x plus 3. So x square minus 4x plus 3 we can make a factor. Okay. Uh, this 3. So we have x square minus uh, 3x minus x you can write x square minus 3x, x square minus 3x minus x and plus 3 because it is not negative 3, it is positive, positive 3. I will just tell you how. Just wait. x minus 1, I am just doing it again. x square, a square plus b square minus 2ab minus 4, 4x minus 1. So we have x square minus 4x, 4x plus 3. So this is plus 3 as I just suggested you. So you have x, x, x minus 3, x minus x is plus 3. So you have x, x minus 3, minus 1, x minus 3. So you have x minus 1 and x minus 3 as a factor. Okay, now when this is a factor, x minus 1, x minus 3, I am replacing this. And by x, x minus 3, x minus 1 was already there. In numerator, you get x minus 1, x minus uh, 3. In denominator, you have x minus 2. So x minus 1, x minus 1 gets cancelled. You have in numerator, you have x minus 3. 
you know the denominator you have x x minus 2 so just put x as 1 here so 1 minus 3 by uh, 1 and 1 minus 2 so you get 2 by minus 1 that is going to be that is 2 2 you are going to get so this is all about this exercise thank you so much take care of yourself